Hey guys, today on It's Alive, we're going to be making a little, uh... No, I don't seem right, Vinny. Hi! <laughs> Hi, Brad! Hey guys, today on It's Alive, we're going to be making a little fish tacos. we got a nice little guest with us, Matty Matheson. You guys might know him from Vice. He's got his book, he's got his show, he's got himself. Myself. He's wonderful. Perfect human. <laughs> So uh, yeah, we're gonna do a little halibut fish taco. Right? Halibut's really nice. Comes from Alaska? This one does. I do believe you can get them on the East Coast too in the Atlantic. Yeah, there's but halibuts. It's a, you know, cold water, deep, bottom feeder. They get bigger than both of us. Big that's boys. a big fish. Yeah, that's a big boy. That's your big boy. So I've never made tortillas in my life. And I've even, a lot of people probably know this. I, I don't hate on the corn tortilla. I just, I like a flour tortilla better. Ooh. So this is a really nice opportunity, I think, for, We're gonna for Brad, so <laughs> Chef Brad here, to convert me. Well, all right, well, we'll try anyway. So, we got a little pork fat. I'm gonna yeah. heat that up in the microwave, and then salt. That's it, okay? that's all we're gonna do, yeah. and then just water. And then water. Mm. Let me zap these two things. Yes. All right, I'm gonna the hit chef. the microwave real quick, Vinny. Okay. All right, we'll do 25 seconds. Great. We're melting the pork fat. Oh, it didn't work. I'm over here with the masa. We're I'm protecting the masa. The fat won't melt. This is you know like, why I think the water is taking all the, the, the energy from the microwave. I don't know how these things work. I don't really like them. Chef Mike. Chef Mike. Chef Mike. That, I worked in this restaurant. My first restaurant job was at this like fake fine dining restaurant. They used to microwave <laughs> a lot of things in it and they would call it Chef Mike. Chef Mike. And they're like, hit it with the Chef Mike, like, like a rack of ribs. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> Get the world. <laughs> I was just a dishwasher. Yeah, I was in thank high school. God. You know, I was a, and uh, how are you gonna keep up with Chef Mike? Oh, microwave. Is it bubbling? Bubbling? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're liquid. Oh my goodness. All right. So real easy. Pour the salt in. Salt. Right how much salt there. is this? All of it. I measured it for you. Okay. I'll pull the water in. And then I stir. Yeah. Okay. And it's it's it's, it's a real simple dough. So it's just it starts off a little shaggy and then it here you go yeah yeah. I'm gonna hit it with the fat, oh, a little drizzle of the fat, Vinny. You getting that, bud? Oh my goodness. You know, Look people, at that. You know what people love, Vinny? A little fat drizzle. Keep working a little, not too wet, shouldn't be sticky, should be a nice little ball with a little, little bit of mild bounce to it. Should we need it? Do we need it? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, right in the hands. Otherwise, sometimes it starts to stick a little because of the fat. And just, yeah, just get it all nice and incorporated. Oh, you're a natural. Look at those hands. Tortilla, it's so nice and warm. It's like holding like a like a like a warm diaper, just kind of like that. You got kids, Matty. I got I got I got one one baby boy, and then I got a, another. I got a girl on the way. Woo! Congrats. Yeah, I got a baby. I got a two-year-old boy. Wow, mine too. Ah. Two in four months or some shit. Oh, he just mine just turned two in May. It's amazing. It's the best, dude. And I got another little boy that was born this May. Dude, congratulations! Look at us. It's dad zone. Ah, dad zone. I don't like it. Is that nice? That's freaking perfect. Wow. So you go ahead and pop that right there. And then we're just gonna cover it with a little plastic. You don't want to, you gotta cover it, otherwise the oxygen, you know, oxygen kills everything. It does. It actually, it, it, it's funny how it like, I mean, it gives you so much life, literally life. without it. And it just ruins everything. You, you, you peel an apple. At the end of the day, everything dies from Everything oxidation. dies. Oxidation, <laughs> life, give us and take us. <laughs> so we're just gonna let that sit for about, you know, an hour, hour and a half. You can make this ahead, you can make this a day ahead. I like to, after let it rest for like an hour, I like to pop it in the fridge. I find it's a like little- Like a pate e brise. Uh, yeah, exactly. Bon appetit. <laughs> so next, Vinny, we'll, we're, let's do the sour cream mix, okay? Get the sour cream going, yeah. yes. Just go ahead and plop that right in here. I'll get you a spoon. Ooh. All right, no, he's a pro. A little lime juice, okay, Vince? Stand back, make sure it doesn't go in your Watch eyes. Your, oh, you might, can I call you Matters? Yeah. Do you have nicknames? No. All right, I'll do one of these Matters. <laughs> these matters. And I'll do one. And here, you do one. You know, it's a family, Can I do one? It's a family program. What's this called? Uh, it's a citrus juicer. Does everyone have this at home? Definitely. Because this is something that you need at home. <laughs> this is something you could get definitely at like a Williams Sonoma for like, this is probably like $2,000. Uh, try like $35. Okay, it's $35. We'll mix that up. Maybe we need a bigger bowl, huh? No, no, smaller. <laughs> smaller, maybe use like a fork. <laughs> What size we were? Oh, same Just get time. a giant one. Get the biggest <laughs> bowl you got. We're gonna need it. So when we stir this up? Yeah, yeah. So we're perfect. gonna fully incorporate the lime juice yeah. to the already acidic sour cream. Exactly. And that'll brighten it up a little and it'll also loosen it up a little. Mm. This is nice sour cream. A little bit of this <gasps> in there. What's that Ooh. spice, chef? So this is, you can get it in your supermarket. It's just that chipotle mm. and adobo sauce. 
two tablespoons. And then in here I got some, some spices, a little salt, a little onion powder, a little chili powder, a little, um, what the hell else is in there? Garlic powder. Here, dip this in there, give it a little taste. Is it you, good? Yeah, you know, let's find out. What do you think it needs? Might be a little spicy. A little Zingo Bingo. Zingo, you've tested this recipe for sure, because that's perfect. Mm. It's alive. Boom. All right, so we'll throw that over somewhere. Here, Vinny, you hold on to that. For our fish, we're gonna do just a little cornmeal dredge, like I was telling you. I love about. a cornmeal dredge. Right. Mm. And then here's just some spices. Spices. What right. spices do we have? Once again, are we replicating the spices there? And we're building the flavors, yeah. the foundation of this whole taco? Yeah, big time. You nailed okay. it. Okay. So, like, so we added some cayenne, because we don't have the chipotle. A little more heat. Yeah. <laughs> Onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, cayenne. Just like that. And some salt. You gotta have a Are we gonna, salt. I wanna see something no. here. Are we gonna mix that and then add that to this bowl, or are we gonna add no. this to the small bowl? Neither. Neither? <laughs> Not oh, at all. Oh, this is to season just the fish itself, yeah. and then just the cornmeal. Because if we were to fry this, this would make the cornmeal actually turn dark right. and not golden. Right. I'm so, trying to figure this out. Maybe I'm a professional. We didn't Maybe fill I'm you not. in at all. I like where your head was at. Maybe do a little, a little riff on that. I usually just season the fish with a little salt. Okay. Dredge it. Dredge it. Fry it. Oh, and then that's a finishing. And that's a little Baja banger. No, okay. Then I feel that. See, well, maybe we do both. Maybe we do both. You think fish? Because well, you already have salt in here, so why don't you do that? And then I think if we did that on it, and then we put it into the cornmeal. I'm scared. And then, and then, or we don't. We do it your way. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Vince knew. Vince knew everything. God damn mastermind. <laughs> don't get him going, please, Matt. All right. Matters. Matters. Bilbo. All right, for our next trick here. We're gonna cut we up. We switch sides. Is this okay? Here, How's switch. the continuity? Switch. Here, How's switch. the continuity? Cut we switch. switch continuity. Sides. Is this okay? Switch. I'll cut up cabbage unless you wanna. Here. What do you want me to do? Yeah, it's like a nice. Yeah, Show like me a, one chef and I'll try just my like best. Just like a nice, like a, like a thin chiffonade kind. Okay, of. a chiff chiffonade. Yeah. Oh, boom, boom. Look at him go. He's a machine. Oh, stunt double. I don't know. That'll do. Man, oh man. Perfect. We'll throw that right in here. And then we're gonna we'll fold in a little bit of some uh, some cilantro. So this is, he's just doing a rough chop, okay? Yeah, a rough chop. And like a sliding. A, with you don't want to mince. You, you don't, don't want to mince. Bruise. Bruise. So like. Like a basil. A basil? A basil. Well, how would you say it? I say, I, I uh, basil? Basil. I, I say basil. Good. Brad's got it. A little bit of salt. Okay, a little bit of salt. It's gonna really bring out a little bit of moisture. And Which with is this acid right. too, that, that get the cabbage a little crunchy. So those are good. Let me pop that. Do you want to mix that at all, or are you just gonna leave that? You Chef. know, let's add a little more cilantro. <laughs> <laughs> so equal parts cilantro to cabbage on this slaw, and you don't mix it. You just put a bunch of salt on top. Yeah. Don't mix it. I mixed it a little. Okay. Did you? Yeah. I didn't see. I wasn't watching. That's okay. I was unfocused. I'm not. It's fine. I'm here for you. <laughs> no one's got a chef's back anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is great. Let's do six of these right now. All right, deal. How many do you want to do? Well, we only prepped for it? one. We only prepped for one. <laughs> you ever hear, you know, I've been dying to do it. Go noodling. Oh, bro. With the, with the catfish. Do you know? Yeah. That, that, yeah. Okay, so when I, I worked at this French restaurant, 2003, oui? and me and my friends, Michelle and Allison used to call ourselves the noodlers. And we and I've never gone noodling, but Man. in my heart, in my heart, You've been I have a close forever. place. I have a close connection to noodling. I want to go noodling, so why don't we go bon appetit? Hello. I only fly business class though. Only business. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And Vince. Boom. And Vince. <laughs> he likes oh. Emirates. Brought to you by Emirates. Let's go fly fishing in fing Montana. Oh. Wait, do you guys want to see us go fly fishing? <laughs> do you want to see us go in space? Dude, if you want to see the big man. The big boy. The big boys. The big Go boys. Go <laughs> grabbling. I'm going to pop this in the fridge, Vinny. I'm going to let that chill. All right, chill out. All right, let me get rid of this. How's your arms? Don't worry about him. This is what Vince looks like. <laughs> he will okay, slice so these up. You don't want to use a mandolin? I'll get it. These are $20 pop, and they have taken more lives. Took my fingertip. Oh my goodness. How many times? How many chefs? How many chefs have ruined their lives? We'll shave these down real mm. nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start making tortillas. I like this. You know, people think that like TV magic is oh. see, you see Brad, he is wiping the cilantro <laughs> off the table. There's nobody coming in here and helping him out. No. He no. is alone. He is alone.
He's a lump. He's a lump. He's a lump. <sighs> Vince is here. Vince is here. Well, Vince is here. This is broken. No, no, it's perfect. Oh. Oh, you never used one? No. But you're a smart cookie. So, okay. uh, catch, uh, test kitchen assistant, Gabby Mayin, showed me. You know, I was thinking maybe I'll wrap this with uh, saran wrap. Yeah, yeah. But I was, she was like, no, no, no. Take a little um Because this is natural. Yeah. And it's got its own little natural hinge. Boom, so you boom. can put your little ball there, all right? Boom, boom. Put the blanket on. Nice, nice. So we've been dabbling around for a little while. It's probably been about an hour or so. I like to break them in. Get this out. Whoa. Rogue. Rogue so, It's the only one we got, Vinny. We'll wait for Vince. All right. So it's rested. It's nice. We got our ball. Wow. Okay. Nice. 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 See? Not sticking. Malleable. Leaving that little doop, doop, doop dimple. But as you're working, you want to keep it covered. Right. Because the old oxygen uh, kills us all. It gets us. Is this 30 grams? Ooh, What's a perfect tortilla? 30 grams? It depends who you ask, I guess. Okay. 30! Right on the nail. Woo! Wow. Chef Brad is so great. <laughs> I've never done that. Okay, now I want to yeah. see yeah. what's my gram. Ooh, that looks nice. Feel it again. Audible. Listen, Audible. Listen to your gut. Did you see that? I reached over, I second guessed myself. You We're going to see. another gram or two there. I know. Oh! What is it? Is 30, it? boys. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> Real life shit. <laughs> that was awesome. Man, you want to get over here and get this, bud? Quit horsing around. So look, you, I like to push it up. You would think right in the middle. But you but don't. But I like to kick it up just a, just, a, just a hair. Okay. All right? And we put the blanket on. And drop then... that bad boy. <gasps> and then just push. Give it like a, a pretty good. Oh, oh. Not too much? Not too much. Okay. <gasps> no, that's, you know what? That's kind of, that's my first tortilla. I'm gonna take a photo. I'm so excited. That looks like it's gonna be dry. Oh, come on. I don't know, it's too thin. I think we I just started. It down. Yeah, that's too thin, I feel. We're gonna cook it anyway. Okay. Because, Vinny. We wanna see, we gotta no, test it out. They're kinda of like, you ready? Yeah, they're kinda, of, yeah, they're, they're kinda of like pancakes. I don't like them, pancakes too much. You don't like a pancake? Not really. But they're kinda of like pancakes. The first one's never really the best. Okay, so this so is you, a tester? Yeah, yeah, you wanna just like palm it and kinda of just go. Like something like that. We're maybe a little too thin. Maybe we should pop it in the fridge for a minute. I think I just don't need to press that hard. I think I figured it out. Yeah, first one. Yeah. Okay, so we put it up in the middle. Yeah, we put the fold. Put the little blanket on. Because we want a little. Yeah. The, I think the trick is that you don't even do it that much. You don't. Oh, mama. Okay. See if you can just flop it and then peel it with your finger. And then just go right onto the griddle. Okay. We'll cook that one just for the sake. Boom, drop her. Yeah, just let her cook. And that's our little burner, you know? We're only gonna get better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Um, is my computer open? Can you check, uh, maybe search an email? This looks okay. She ain't the worst, she ain't the best. We're perfectly mediocre over <laughs> here at the old uh, BA test kitchen. No, no, we're gonna get there. This thing's no, gonna, this is good. I think we're gonna, gonna melt your melon, man. This is the first one I've ever made. We're gonna get good by it. We're gonna, I think we even make them like, Fatter. A little fatter and smaller? Yeah, like fatter and smaller, almost like, like, like Gosados. Yeah, all right. You know? Have you been to Gosados? No, I haven't been anywhere. No? I don't In think LA? So. I've, never been to, I've never been to LA. Shut up. I swear to God. <laughs> if you'd like to see us do a taco tour. We should go to LA. I'm Brad, and if you'd like to see me and Maddie go to LA for a taco tour, BA fans, Vote! I've never been to LA. That's crazy. I've never been south of San Francisco. Where are you from? New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, Short I've been... Hills. Yeah. No, Vernon. Vernon. The part. Okay. All right, oh, buddy. So this is Chef Brad's. Look at Brad's. Brad's is really nice. Look at mine. Horrible. And then you want to steam them. Yeah, let them hang out under that little towel. Yeah. And then the steam is actually what makes it kind of fluff up, fluff make it up a little a nice. Bit. Fluff. Ooh, mama. Oh, I tried to do... Look at mine. Can I eat this? Yeah. This is like a... Yeah, you earned it. Do whatever you want with that. I mean, they're not the best by themselves. They're yeah, good, though. They're not bad. It's the best taco you've ever this had. This is the greatest tortilla <laughs> I've ever had in my life. Oh, yeah. Look at that stack. Vinny, get in here, bud. You're missing the game. You yeah. got the chubber down there? Hiding? Oh. Man, those are good. All right, so, uh, Vinny, 
Let's go get the fish. It's fish time, yeah? It's fish time. Let's take a walk to the old walk-in with me. Walk. Christopher Walken. New, New Jersey? This is my office. This is it? Yeah. That's not, you got some acorns? Oh! oh. Jeez Louise, turning the lights off. Halibut matters. Oh. Matters. You already had that on there. <laughs> yeah. You already thought of that nickname. Oh, for months. What a crazy <laughs> person. <laughs> Vince locked the door. Yeah, we finally have him. Good soundproof in here. Sex swing drops. <laughs> yeah, so our buddy's up from Juno, Alaska, uh, Alaskan seafood. I told him I was making some fish tacos. He was like, you gotta like, have the halibut. I feel like even in Canada, a lot of people just use frozen tilapia. Tilapia <laughs> or like, you know, sea bass. I mean, I like to use what's in season and stuff, but I tell you what, especially this way of frying Look it. Look at that. It just comes out like this. That's beautiful. It just comes out like this beautiful, like ocean bomb. It, 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 I was very happy. Very nice. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Maybe we'll half this this way yeah. and then cut. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Perfect. All right. Because you don't want too much. You, you don't, don't want too much. I hate tacos that are like, these big like donkey busting at yeah. the seams and I just like a perfect ratio of like shell. You want the tortilla, the, the well, filling. Balance. Yeah, ratios. Yeah, that's nice. Boom. All right, so we're gonna add some of these. We'll start it off with a small batch. We'll add these boys. Oh, okay, hold, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Hold this off. Slow down, Brad. Brad was getting I'm a little speed, excited. Brad was getting, getting he was excited. about to start just throwing fish in a dry ass corn. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay. And we're gonna throw them right in here. Look at this. A little just, salt. That's how you salt. Just Hi. Little. And above. Yeah, I learned this that one, on the internet. Chef, and if you season like a, like down if you, here, down well, here. He called you a spot. spot welder. He called <laughs> you a spot welder. Oh, so okay. he'll go right into the corn like that. Oh, that's funny. I, I like that. That's pretty. Put that on your cover. You could be my fish holder. Here, we'll go over here. Okay. All right, we're going to crank this up a little bit. I like to get it up to 400. That's, yeah, easy. You know, it's a, you don't want to be, I'm not doing Easy this, breezy cover easy, girl. Pretty much. It will take any sponsors we can get. I'll take makeup, <laughs> lipstick. I've been saying it for a while. I want to bring like, I know someone's probably doing it, but like comfortable like dresses for men. Yeah, I think they're just called dresses. <laughs> I think anyone can wear yeah. them. All right, into the oil. Well, let me fire okay. one in as a sampler. Oh. Always got to do a sampler. You know, it's not a big piece of fish. So you, I really want it up 400, 425. <laughs> Something like that. So, you know, it's going to cook quick and you want that outside corn to get a little golden, little golden nugget. Everything he's saying is true. True. So you can see that oh, nice goldenness. Oh my goodness. Do you want your seasoning? No, we're not there. I'm going to drop, there yet. I'm going to drop all the rest of these okay. bad boys in since we achieved. You want to crank the heat right now because you're going to drop the temperature, right? Yeah, exactly. I, gonna... I already did that, but you're right. Okay. Because we're dropping a, a cold fish into hot oil. And you would, you know, it does drop the temperature of the oil. But these pieces are pretty small. They're pretty small. That oil's pretty hot. 400. We're getting there. Don't put your uh, anything ear in that. Nope. Yeah, I got a story. My dad. It's nice. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's pretty. It is. And here, we'll go right into this nice little bowl. Boom. Nice and golden. Turn that down to skosh. Oh. I did this ahead of time, guys, but it's just some quick pickled onions. There's, there's some recipes on bonappetit.com. Here's our little, our little Baja banger uh, mm -hmm. seasoning. Let it rain. You know, they're like little freaking fish sticks almost. Look but at those. Nice. Little nugs. Little nugs. I'm excited. I'm so hungo. Yeah, me too. I didn't eat anything yet. Oh, God, I'm breathing it. And then one buck. Look at that. Nice <sighs> on the inside. Wow. Boom. Can I try it? Yo, please do. Oh, oh, my God. You know what? Temperature could have even been a little hotter and cooked a little less. Yeah. Well, that's so very good. It's not bad. And wait till we jazz it up. It's a little overcooked. Do a couple samples always with your fish before you go throw in, you know, because it's not cheap, and nor should it be. Do a sampler one. Try to get your timing down, your temperature, because everyone's situation is going to be a little different. Let's face it. It's cooking. It's life. A little smear of the cream first. Yeah. Right on there, you know? Just get a nice little pad. Ooh. Ooh look at that, Vinny. A little bit of our little slaw we got here. Okay. As much as you want. Or don't if you want. Oh, my goodness. Okay. And then look, I can do a little bit of red onion on there like that. A little radish. Maybe a couple of radishes. Go crazy if you want. And then just a little pop, 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 pop. Okay. Oh my goodness. And we'll give it a little dab of hot sauce. Wow. Why not? That one's for you. Is this mine? Do I yeah, try this one? I want you to eat it. I'm going to try this one. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'll get you a napkin. Ooh. Wow. What are we thinking? It's perfect. The fresh tortilla. You know, the fattiness is getting it. It's not too acidic with the pickled onion. Right. The cabbage, oh, all the lime. Oh, I forgot one thing. Here, mm. save your last bite. Oh my God. Watch your eyes. 
Nothing's dripping. Nothing came out. Nothing came out. Oh, oh, oh my God. I'm gonna make another one. Can I yeah. make another one? Yeah. This is so good. Mm. I think I'm just, I'm so hungry. You know when you're really hungry and you don't even know what's kind of really going on and everything tastes so good? I'm having that moment now. Yeah, we told your manager, make sure he doesn't eat breakfast so that he's hungry. I'm hungry. And no matter what we feed him, he'll say it's delicious. How about the this corn hot tortilla? Sauce, the corn tortilla. You know, I'm always such a hater on corn tortillas. I just don't think I've had the right ones. These are amazing. Actually, I've had a few really good tortillas. I feel bad because I'm always like, just really good fresh tortillas, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. They got to be fresh. And you can put anything on them. Cheers. Ah, cheers and food is so <laughs> nice. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, Vinny, we gotta make you one. Is that all we do now? Are we done? Thanks, Brad. Yeah, we make tacos. It's alive! <laughs> oh, yeah, my book. <laughs> hey, Brad, check out my book. So I, I wrote a cookbook. Yeah. It's about my life. Look at that handsome guy. No, yeah, that's me. I'm sitting at a table surrounded by food. It's an idea. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want to look at it? It's filled with recipes. Oh. Oh, I see you stole my uh, tortilla recipe. No! Oh, look at that. Oh, it's mine! It's a <laughs> Yeah, my kind of book. The joke is, he's really, it's just a diary. You gotta fill it in. You, you have to fill it in. It's an emotional voyage for you. So buy a book. Buy two. <laughs> Great. Well, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> Dude, thank you. Yeah. That's a good, yeah. good guy. Good cook. Great guy. Great kitchen. <laughs> and we're the going. The view, New York City. And, I mean, fish tacos, we're, why we're on this whole fish thing. Noodling. I wanna go noodling. I want to go noodling. I want to go noodling with this guy. Let's go noodling. Right, we'll get down Everyone, there. let's go noodling. Yeah. And that's it. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. I can't believe you've never <laughs> been to LA. That's what everyone says. People make fun of me. It's a wild thing to... How old are you? Uh, uh... So literally all day, everyone's just testing and like cooking stuff for the magazine. Yeah. Like anything that's in that magazine is made in this kitchen and shot? It's made here. Not always shot here. Sometimes they shoot out, you know, on yeah. site or something. Everything, I mean, Chris and these guys behind us, they, it's all they do. Crazy. I mean, it's not all they do, but they, every recipe gets cooked several times and then a fresh pair of eyes cross tests it. Right. Just to catch any last bugs. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna use this weird cleaver. Why do you have a, like a cleaver knife? Oh. Is this what you use? Yeah, that's the go-to. Jesus Christ. That thing's the best. Wicked sharp edge. I wicked found sharp. it. Wicked sharp. You found, found it? Holds a wicked edge. It's thin. It's what was that? Just, were you filet? Yeah. Were you, you filet? You that. It's like a bench scraper. Yeah. What a great knife. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> I love radishes. It's a perfect food. It is. Yeah, if I was on a desert island, it'd be a radish. Ooh, it'd ice be my cold. last meal. A little salt? No. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs>